All right, all right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to Allah Akimodia that's doing the work in sincerity, with charity, with humiliation all across the four winds. To you, I salute. This is the brother Karatazar from the GMS Bahamas camp. Back at you with another lesson. All right, so today I got a good lesson lineup. All right, and the name of this lesson is going to be called Check Your Fucking Self. You understand? Check Your Fucking Self. All right, this lesson is going to be about checking or examining yourself. All right, and it seems as if it seems like the closer we get to the end, it seems as as if brothers is becoming more and more self-centered and not interested. All right? So you have to fucking check yourself constantly. All right? And I want to say this. Okay? Brothers ain't always going to be there to tell you when you fucking going off or not. All right, brothers ain't always gonna admonish you. Okay, so this is why it is imperative that you fucking check yourself, boy. Look closer into yourself, examine yourself. All right, you might find yourself knowing one or two precepts or breaking down certain things correctly, but with that being said, that don't mean that use the total fucking package. You understand? You could be doing all the things as if uh, or doing everything right. But if you see you're in examining yourself and looking into yourself closer, checking your fucking self, keeping yourself in check, then guess what? You're good for nothing. You understand? Because a part of this walk and a part of being in this thing is checking your fucking self, taking heed. Okay, listening to admonishment, taking good advice. Okay, so that being said, let's get let's get the scriptures. We're gonna let the scriptures do all the speaking. Okay, so the first precept I got on deck here is the book of Second Corinthians thirteen and five. It reads, "Examine yourselves." Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai and Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobate, which is a mind void of understanding. All right? You see that? So Paul is letting you know that, hey, look here, check your fucking self, boy. You understand? All right? Now, examining yourself, don't stop as if you know you and it's true or not. No, 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 it's much more than that. All right, this is a non-stop thing. So guess what? Every day, every night, you have to examine yourself. You have to look at yourself closely. Check yourself. Okay? The last thing you want to do is think that you don't have to examine yourself, boy. All right? Because you might put yourself in some type of position, all right, to where, uh, uh, where now uh, you don't got to check yourself, but you're in problems. You understand? You're in problems. And this thing is all about checking your fucking self. You understand? All right, being humble, because like I say, brother Zane gonna tell you, brother Zane gonna always tell you if you're going off. All right, if you're breaking down this wrong, or if you're breaking down that wrong, brother Zane gonna always tell you that, because guess what, you don't take fucking heed, you don't listen. All right, 
And when you don't hear that from brothers, when you don't hear brothers telling you, man, lucky you're off, or you're doing this wrong, or you're doing that wrong, you think your shit on, is on point. When the whole time, you're fucking off. All right? So again, check your fucking self. All right? So again, if you're not kind of spirit, you better examine yourself closely. Yabba shim yow shai set up brothers. And these brothers could see certain things that you can't see. You understand? Brothers could see certain things you can't see. Alright? So, you gotta examine yourself. And just know that you got a lot of, a man, a lot of men that was in this thing before you. But like I say, checking yourself don't just stop you know uh, uh, when you determine if you in this thing or not examining yourself also encompass when you going off all right taking heed to sound advice all that is a part of checking yourself because if you have brothers them telling you the same thing guess what use the fucking problem check yourself all right let's get another precept all right let's get the book of first corinthians all right this is the book of first corinthians chapter 11 they can start here at uh verse 26 all right listen to this it reads for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Right? What this? Verse 28. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. You see that? You see that? All right? So, examining yourself is also important. Okay? Examining yourself is also important. So, if you don't examine yourself, and then you're out there doing a bunch of shit, a whole heap of wickedness on the left-hand side, thinking that the most high is with you, then guess what? Guess what, brother? You're going to have the blood of Yahweh Shai on you. All right, and not in a light way. You understand? And that's going to be heavy. That's going to be detrimental. You understand? But what this, right? Verse 29. For he that eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning Yahweh Shai's body. You see that? You can't make this stuff up. All right. So how do you know when you eat it or drink it of this cup unworthily? Well, you have to check your fucking self. All right. You have to find out the shit that you be doing. All right. Because guess what? You can't be out here playing two sides. Because the most I don't get like that. So if you're out here playing two, trying to play two sides, all right, guess what? That shit is straight up fucking wicked. All right, that shit is straight up wicked. Because when the Akim them get together, when we get together on Kiam Day, you're righteous. You understand? But then when you when we leave from camp and we go our individual ways, the nigga fucking Akim come out. It can't be like that. You understand? All right. And you got a lot of men in this truth that do that. Like I said, they'll be your on, on they'll be good on camp day. But when you see they by themselves, doing all kind of fucking wickedness. Alright, so let's continue to examine ourselves, Akim. Alright? And don't wait for a brother to tell you, man, lucky you're going off. You understand? Don't expect a brother to always be telling you, man, lucky, you need to fucking listen. You need to take sound advice. You understand? Alright, because guess what? 
the most I ain't always going to put it put that in the brother's spirit to tell you. He just might leave it and let you go off thinking the most I with you and he damn doing that to fuck you up. You understand? Because the scripture clearly tells us what? Titus 3 and 10, I think it is. After the first or second admonition, reject. You understand? So if brothers got to keep saying the same thing, what you think and fucking happen? Okay? But like I say, the Lord might not put it that way for you. You understand? So again, check yourself, man. And if that's the case, you might end up down the wrong path doing shit and drinking and eating and drinking of this cup unworthily. And yeah, I shall fuck you up. All right? Yeah, man, this lesson is, is, is just to keep brothers in this mindset because, you know, a lot of shit going on out here. You know, and the closer we get to the end, you understand, brothers get damn riled up in the spirit and be doing all type of shit. You understand? All right. We want to uh, 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 make sure you want to make sure you damn um, be given diligence to make your calling of election sure. All right. And guess what? And a part of giving diligence, that's you examining yourself. <laughs> you see what I said? That's you examining yourself. All right. So don't think for one minute you see your seat sealed on one of the chariots. All right. We don't know if we seal. Paul say what? Even though I preach and teach the gospel, I too could be a castaway. All right. So we don't know who seal. All right. But we have to push and push as if we fighting for our seat. You understand? Which we are fighting for our seat. All right. But in the midst of that fight, you understand? You got to check your fucking self. You understand? You got to check yourself. Okay? We got one more one more precept and I can get out of here. All right? More precept I can get out of here because the Lord put this in my spirit to bring out. All right? Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. All right, and this is one of the or, 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 or the main fucking token of a man not examining himself. You understand? Because the brother's telling you this. One brother tell you this. One brother tell you that. One brother tell you the next thing. Another brother tell you something else. All right? Everyone telling you something, and you don't take heed. You don't listen. You understand? trying to uh, self-justify, self-justification, that's pride. That's fucking pride. All right, and pride is the beginning of one damn um, uh, 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 being away from his makeup, basically power of reason. Pride is the beginning of one departing from his makeup. You understand? So pride is is one or if not the main thing of a man not examining himself. All right? Because guess what? That put you in a position now whereby you fucking prideful as fuck. And, and the thing about it, you don't see it. All right? You don't see it. But brothers could see when a man is fucking prideful. Just by his countenance. Just by the way he carry himself. Alright? And that's the type of man who don't examine himself. You understand? Pride fucking get in. Alright? Because he feels like there's no need for fucking him to check himself. Alright? Because he think he got all the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You can't tell him nothing. You can't give... Um, um, Sound advice. All right. 
you can be a comfort did i say it so again man just check yourself and stay in the faith humble yourself because if you don't you will humble you so with that lord willing i hope that this was edifying and a service purpose shalom